With The Sims promises to assemble a team to invest in the core game experience, we have more issues coming in game. Now we're gonna be talking about that a little bit later on and some speculation on what the actual Love Struck map was supposed to look like or could have been. Again, this is all allegedly and I would love to know your opinions down below. And speaking of Love Struck, we are also gonna be talking about how the Sim Grooves are actually staying silent throughout all of these issues and why. Now again, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions towards everything down below, but first, if you are new here, welcome. My name is The Sim Yen. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the love you showed me over the past couple of videos because the love does not go unnoticed. But we are going to be tackling so many topics today. And let's start off with the very first one, including Love Struck, which is the new EP that recently had dropped. We do know that there has been multiple issues regarding this EP. And of course, even down to the EA Game Changers who are actually not being so silent and actually speaking up regarding this pack and stating whether or not this should have been in a game pack or an expansion pack. Now, if you guys have missed my other videos, I did briefly do one. This is all thanks to the simcommunity.info who provided me more information on what exactly is broken and how a lot of simmers are fed up with a lot of the things that are going on in game, such as eyelashes not working, broken glasses, and people are also having lighting issues and as well as UI. Well, there's another one coming up and thanks to the Henford Hen who tweeted this out saying very major bug happening in the game right now. Traveling to community lots while there is an event happening is causing load errors, which is ruining saves and households. Now there is a Me Too investigation under this. So if you guys are having this issue, I will actually link this down below. But a community manager ended up speaking out saying, we're still looking to gather more information on this error. If you're willing, please share your save file with us so we can continue to investigate. And please send me a private message with a link to the file. Instructions can be found here and I'll link that down below. Now this had me questioning because again we do know there was a couple of sim gurus who left and I was surprised that EA Kate has not spoken up about this. For those who don't know EA Kate is usually a community manager that talks back to a lot of the me too's and also posting about whether or not something is going to be fixed or you know it's basically just the in between of the sims direct but we haven't heard from him in a while and it has me thinking is he going to pull the same thing that sim guru popcorn did which I'll talk to about a little bit later again the with the whole horse ranch issue. But again, I'm gonna be talking about that a little bit later on in the today's video. We are going to be getting into a couple of Simmer's tweets and concerns. And again, if you guys are experiencing any of this, please leave it down below in the comments to see if anybody else is going through the same thing. With that all being said, we're gonna start off with the very first Simmer who tweeted out, oh my gosh, okay, I thought it was a mod conflict. I've had issues loading into the lots while creating a date. My workaround has been to go to the venue first and then create the date there. And then someone else tweeted, this happened to me when I wanted to go on a date with Bella at the bubble tea shop, changing the lot type to generic, the one with the slightly open door as a symbol, and luckily it fixed it. Oh, guys, I'm going to get into my thoughts and opinions in just a second. And then we have someone else that tweeted out saying, I have a similar bug with the new save I've made a few days ago. Pretty often when I try to travel to another lot, I get kicked out from live mode and go back to the world menu and get this message as well. This is just so annoying because it's like, what? Why is there constant issues in the game? It's like one thing after another after another and guys I'm just like I feel like I'm repeating myself in every single video now I did end up tweeting out It's unacceptable a billion dollar company lacks proper quality control before releasing DLC once maybe twice be more careful but every time what are people paying for to be beta testers this isn't fair to those expecting a better gaming experience when updating or downloading dlc and a lot of you guys were actually responding to this tweet it got a lot of attraction i was just tweeting just a tweet and a lot of people were responding back some good some bad not necessarily bad but just more on the you know you're blowing this kind of out of proportion and obviously i know that max isn't a billion dollar company it's ea but ea is the umbrella of of a lot of companies out there and they are solely responsible for how the sims works again these are all linking careers and people that are matching up to ea and maxis i will do a separate video on that if you guys want me to so i can break down the tree of who do we blame in this situation now moving on to the very next topic it's going to be all about the love struck map now with that all being said i do want to make it known that this is all allegedly and that none of this is actually confirmed this is pure speculation so again i do like to just you know dabble into a little bit of 
quote unquote conspiracy when it comes down to the sims so i do want to shout out spring sims because spring sims actually had tweeted this map out and i think this is very important again as you guys can see there is no 64 by 64 lots and a lot of people did feel like this was a little bit of a small world for it to be an expansion pack because of the lot sizes it was definitely giving a little bit more like for rent and thanks to gamer Patton over on twitter we do have some insight that was actually found that was supposed to be in the game as you guys can see in the back towards like the little four boxes in, the, in, the, in that corner and then there was supposed to be a little bit more lots over here as well a lot of people are wondering were we supposed to even get more lots with the love struck and again this does you know tie into my allegedly is this supposed to be you know more than what it was i do feel like it was supposed to be a hotel pack a lot of people are you know on the fence about that but again this was also found in the game codes where a 64 by 64 lot that would make so much more sense because again if it was supposed to be a hotel pack, wouldn't it be bigger lots, but they, maybe they scratched that idea and then said like, well, let's just do like a love pack instead. And then the map came out looking how it does. I don't know. This is all allegedly. And a lot of people are going back and forth on whether or not they do feel that this is an expansion pack or this should be a game pack. In my personal opinion, I do feel that love Shuck should have been a game pack. And I have my unpopular review down below in the com um, description if any of you guys are interested in that. So I would love to know your opinions on it. But again, if you do look closely at that map i really do feel like it was i asked people a while ago if it was supposed to be do you guys feel like it was rushed and a lot of people were saying no it looks like it was thought out and this is exactly what we were supposed to get regardless of the limited features and gameplay and all the things that we were expecting an ep for love truck to be like but instead we got what we got instead of the trailer because we do know the trailer was being a little bit of a liar just a little bit and there was a lot of people going back and forth on whether or not they really do feel that it should be but i don't know this map really has me questioning what are your thoughts and opinions on it i would love to know yours and again the sims direct has not really stated anything since you, just in general like how much drama and problems that it's having again they only say something when their backs are against the wall and their backs have been against the wall so they have just been like trying to play catch up and personally for me i feel like a lot of the sim gurus need to start talking i know they're trying to be silent i know they're trying not to really say anything and you know they're probably pulling a sim guru popcorn who i did say and mention earlier you know she received backlash from horse ranch and she couldn't take it so she has been silent since i think they need to start talking i think you know rachel franklin who needs to start talking who is a new you know executive over at ea after samantha ryan had stepped down um last year and i do feel like 110 percent lindsey pearson needs to start talking people need to start talking because a lot of simmers are having a lot of questions and wondering what the state of the sims 4 is going towards and we do know the sims actually put out a statement stating that they were going to you know start focusing on a team to invest in the core game experience including tackling problems and that, the, that they were going to release basically things every two months and the first rollout would be you know two months from may and then we did get july so we did get a new you know rollout of everything that was going on and like just this big huge patch update that was supposed to fix all the problems and again we got another update recently but it came with more problems. And I feel like every two months, they're going to just keep on doing the cycle of fixing problems that should have already been fixed to begin with before coming out. It's kind of like who is paying for these quality control testers. Again, I'm starting to feel like we are all beta testers in this Sims 4 game. A lot of people are stating hit their money where it hurts. And the reason I'm you know questioning a lot of the things that the sims team is doing is obviously you know the bugs and glitches and things like that but they know what they're doing they already have a you know a sims get dating bundle like there's already a bundle out for the love struck and it's just like they know what they're doing like even with the problems and issues that love struck is facing they're already still trying to sell it on the market regardless of them knowing that there's issues it's not like they're telling people to hold off on it again a lot of the ea game changers um have spoken out about this and saying that it it does feel very limited to be paying 40 dollars for this pack so it's not even just me who always comes with a little bit more of an unpopular opinion but even the ea game changers are stating this as well so with that all being said i would love to know your opinions regarding just the love struck ep in general and i did ask you guys whether or not you feel that way on my unpopular review but i would love to know down below if you guys didn't watch that video how do you guys feel about that as well as do you think that 
the map was supposed to be bigger than what it was the hotels were supposed to be there or do you think that it was rushed do you feel like they you know was it supposed to be more than what we see here like what we got with the love struck ep and do you have the love struck ep and how do you feel about it like how do you genuinely feel like is this the way to go and if you're also facing any issues that were mentioned earlier before and again thank y'all so much we are officially on the road to 30k guys we are so close and if you learned something new please give me a thumbs up because it truly does help out my channel now whether you're a silent viewer you share my videos you like my videos or you comment on my videos at the end of the day you still showed me some love and support and for that i thank you with that all being said i will see you guys all in the very next video bye